guys, what's up? This is Kat and welcome back to the bookish side of me and welcome to this reading vlog. This is super super duper spontaneous kind of reading vlog. As you can see, I have Taylor here and a lot of you guys commented about Taylor Swift on my background and she's gonna stay there for a while. I'm gonna change this to the cover of the lover album by taylor swift but for now let's just stick with 1989 era but anyway moving on to this reading vlog i i just thought to read this book i'm just really so emotional <laughs> no i don't know okay to be honest with you, I don't know why I feel like crying right now and I'm just very emotional about this book because I feel like it's super like underrated, it's super underappreciated. Like this book, oh. the, the moment that I've decided to do a booktube channel, I promised to myself that I'm going to do reading vlogs of my favorite books. I said to myself that I'm gonna do this in september because it's my birth month and i just want to reread all my favorite books in september but i saw this book and shopee just a few minutes ago in 200 pesos or less but it's very underappreciated like that's why maybe i'm so emotional because i feel like this deserves more oh i'm crying why the fuck am i <laughs> I don't know if it was hyped up when it was released or published years ago, but I don't think that a lot of people like really talk about this book in booktube. So I want to start this reading vlog. I'm going to do this. I'm going to hype this book up. This book needs hyping up. And anyway, I forgot to show you what book is this, but this is Jellico Road by Melina Marchetta. And if you watch my January and February wrap up, it was there because I just read this in February or January, I already forgot. But this book is just everything to me. I really love this book so much. And here's the thing, the reason why I really got emotional because I feel like, first, this is very underrated. And second, I read the synopsis and then I got to like remember again what this is about, who are the characters, the setting and all that stuff. And I can't help but cry about this book, oh my god. The third thing that happened, I tried to read a few pages earlier and I'm gonna read the prologue to you. My father took 132 minutes to die. I'm gonna continue with the next two sentences. I counted. It happened on the Jellico Road. If that's not one of the strongest first sentence in a book, I don't fucking know what is. But anyway, I'm so excited for this reading vlog. I'm super hyped up. I'm fighting all the noises around me, so I'm sorry for that. I hope that if there's any chance that you would be able to get a copy of this again, I saw it a lot of times in Shopee. If you have an opportunity, if you have the resources to get a copy of this book, please do. It was really good and let me know your thoughts about it. If you didn't like this book, well, let me know as well because I want to discuss what are the points that you didn't like about this book in particular. But for now, I'm going to do a reading vlog. I'm going to read this. I'm so excited. Like, <sighs> Anyway, let's read. I'm going to stop bubbling. Bye. So this is an update about this reading vlog because I totally did not vlog for the whole day and it was because of a lot of reasons. So just now, I took a bath 
for the whole day and I thought of just updating you with everything that I've been doing for the whole day and then also while I was working and while I was doing the house chores I was watching some of the Filipino booktubers I'm gonna show here a screenshot of recent videos from different Filipino booktubers and then I'm gonna put the links on the description box so that you can check them out and if you are not yet subscribed to them please do subscribe to them so the first video that I watched for today is from Gerald from Gerald the bookworm you know what every time Gerald actually uploaded a video or published a video I drop everything and I watch it first things first. So I watch his recent video, which is a reading vlog and a book review of The Ballad of Songbirds and Snake by Susan Collins. And as I've said in my previous video, we buddy read that book. So that was a very, very fun video. And I really enjoyed it. And when I was watching his video, I thought to myself that only Gerald can actually express that kind of emotion about a book. Um, I also watch Kate from You Attitude to Kate. She uploaded a new video which is a book tag as well. I forgot the name. Um, nope trope book tag and actually she tagged me in that video. And just to be honest, I love watching Kate because just every time I learn something from her, she is everything that I am not because she's very good at explaining a book and also reviewing a book. So I just love watching her talk about books. And then I also watched... Um, Sakina from Sakina Van S. Oh my god, her video is so fun. It's about like reaction video to like different bookish memes on the internet. And it was really so fun. I sobro fun ng video niya. And if you want to have a good time and just react also to bookish memes, go ahead and watch Sakina's video. I don't know what else I'm saying. And then I also watch Ray from Ray Reads PH. I think that's the name of his channel. But he uploaded a video about his July TBR. And it is another fun video, you guys. It's like he's speaking random number from an app. I don't know what that app is. And then he's going to count the books in his shelf. And then kung ano yung matapat na book that's going to be his TBR for July and it was really a fun video. And then I also watched Ira from Ira Wonderlust and okay, this girl, I love her so much. Like her videos or just her, just being her. So as I was saying, she uploaded a video wherein she read three books with different genres and it's really fun to watch as well. And then the last video that I watched, I think for the day before I took a bath is from Lubicity. He has this um, reading vlog of the Titans Curse by Rick Riordan and it is also fun to watch. Um, Lubicity is also one of the booktubers that I consider that's very hardworking when it comes to his content na talagang he puts out effort. Like you know that he is prepared when he is doing a booktube video unlike me that is not very prepared for everything. But yeah. So that's all the booktubers that I watched for the day. all my Filipino mute walls and all that. Our fight is not over. It will never be over. I'm, I'm just really so I'm just really so sad and I'm also mad right now because this government doesn't really care. Just thinking about 11,000 people who are now jobless just because You know what the thing about this book is that it hurts the second time around because you already know what happened you already know all the mysteries of this book it's already been answered because you have read this the first time and now we're reading it it hurts more because you already know i always cry in this book like oh my god
Hi, good morning. Um, it's been days since I finished this book, but I wasn't able to sit down and wrap this whole thing up because a lot of things happened in the past few days. So here I am on a Wednesday morning and trying to figure things out. You're going to hear again a lot of background noise, but I have to continue filming this one because this video should be up by tomorrow. If you don't know yet guys, I put up a schedule for my weekly uploads which will be every Thursday and Sunday. So yeah, I'm just trying to get my life organized, you know. It's very messy and chaotic for the past few months. So let's talk first about what this book is all about. So in the beginning of this reading vlog, I really didn't talk about what's happening in the book or whatever. I just thought of giving you like a little bit of the synopsis. I just want to give you a more detailed one right now. So this again is a YA contemporary mystery thriller. So this story follows a protagonist named Taylor Marcom who is a 17 year old student in Jellico School or Jellico High School I think. The setting of this book is in Australia but it's not in the city. They're like six hours away from Sydney but I'm not really familiar if there is a road named Jellico in that place, I'm not really sure about that. This is a very interesting read for me because this entails two timelines, one in the past and one in the present. The present is Taylor and her friends and other people in her community trying to solve a lot of mysteries about their life and trying also to navigate their life in the present because there's a lot of things that are happening but basically they have this territorial wars with the townies and the cadets so townies are like the students or the teenagers from the downtown or the the town center or town proper i don't know what is it called so those are the townies they they go to a different school and they have a different community but the students from jellico and the students from the town are somehow connected or familiar with one another and also there is this group of students named cadets the cadets are like you know the cat trainings here in the philippines or like military trainings in a school from Sydney and every September to October the cadets go to the Jellico so that they could camp out along the Jellico Road which is in front of the Jellico High School so I kind of find it hard to explain I'm sorry guys I suck at explaining plots and settings so I hope that you kind of understand what is it about. The second timeline is the past and basically it sets 20 years ago from the present. And in that setting, we follow five friends who are also teenagers. I think they range from 15 to 17 years old as well. And they have different stories that are very heartwarming and also heartbreak. I'm gonna put this down. So we follow the story of Webb and Narni, who are brother and sister in the story, and then Tate and Fitz and Jude. So Webb, Narni, and Tate are from Jellico High School in the story. Fitz is from the town, which means that he is a townie, and then Jude is a cadet. So basically, you will see in the past how the lives of these five kids intertwined in the story. Like how they met, what happened, what are their struggles, and how they fell apart. And you will get to see how the present is related to the past and vice versa. Um, if you are planning to read this book, I, which I highly recommend, just please know that there's a lot of heavy topics that are being discussed in the book. It has a lot of trigger warnings. It has suicide, homicide, attempted suicide as well, um, self-harm. There's also a topic about arson, about abandonment. At some point, there is a topic of domestic abuse, drug abuse, and pedophilia. So, it's a lot. This book is a lot. But anyway, let's move on to why I like this book so much. First off, I love the vibe of this book. This is a contemporary. This is a mystery thriller. You are uncovering some mystery and at the same time, you're thrilled to read this one. Especially when you get to the part where they're trying to uncover a lot of things from the past. Like, oh my god, that's so mind-blowing. Second, I love the plot so much. Like, all the plot twists, all the turns that you didn't expect. 
I am very picky with mystery thrillers because I tend to guess and when I guessed it correctly like you know the experience is ruined for me but in this one even though I've guessed some plot twists even in February I guess it correctly I still find this book so lovable and so likable and it's still it's still something that I will always remember third thing that I really really love in this book are the characters I guess maybe that's the reason why I fell in love with this book more this time because I get to see the characters more you get to know them more for the second time around and you get to notice like small details about the characters and it was just so good like the character development in this book is just so good it was fantastic amazing mind-blowing something that i really really love to read again over and over again and then I just realized when I reread this, my favorite character is Ben Cassidy because, oh my god, that boy has a lot of humor. He made me laugh all the time that he was in the scene or in the story. But also, I love all the characters in this book, like from the past and in the present. I love this book for all the emotions and all the feels that it gave me oh my god like i cried so much in this book i cried so much more this time than the first time in feb i tabbed so much this time because the first time i read it i didn't annotate and i didn't tab because i feel like i'm not gonna love it anyway so but girl i was wrong look at that okay now let's move on maybe or perhaps to the things that i don't like um I was actually thinking of Okay, inom muna ako. Hirapan ako. I was actually thinking of things that I don't like about this book, but I can't remember a thing. There's also this part here where the author used the R word. So I was aware of that now. I I was like Oh, I didn't see this in February because in February I was a dumb bitch but right now I'm very aware of those things so there's an R word here and I think you know it's a harmless word in this book and it's just used once but I think that it should be avoided as much as possible and I thought that you know I can somehow forgive Melina Marchetta for that because this book was published in 2006 it was more than 10 years ago so I kind of understand during the time some authors are really careless about what they write so um, as you can see guys it's very hot right now so I'm just trying to like get through this video but that's it for this wrap up again i will not get tired of recommending this book to you because for me this is a very underrated book like i have seen this like six years ago and yet people a lot of them said that they haven't read it yet and I understand that because there's a lot of books also that I haven't read yet for the past six years. But I just want to say that take everything that I said with a grain of salt because my preference might not suit your preference. So you might say that, um, Kat, this is not a good book. Like, what are you saying? You made a whole video just to point out that this is a good book, but it's not. But remember that every reading experience is his own sorry so again um as i was saying me loving this book is a personal preference i just love the writing style it's very simple um i love the characters it's very complex and i love the setting and the plot and the vibe of the whole book the, yeah that's it for this video i hope that you enjoyed somehow this reading vlog this is going to be one of the many rereading vlogs i'm gonna do in the future because I want to reread all my favorite books this year, especially the ones that are very old. Like, I might reread this one in the next few vlogs because I miss this book. Like, it's been years, like literally years. Also, I'm going to reread this one. I'm very sure about that. I just want to reread this very soon. So those are the sure books that I'm going to reread for this year. So I hope that you can stay tuned for those videos in the future. But for now, guys, I'm going to end the reading vlog here because I'm sweating so much right now. It's so hot. Thank you for watching this, guys, and I hope that you are safe wherever you are. Please remember that the world is yours for the reading. Bye, and see you in the next one.